This is my life. Each red dot represents one month of life lived, experience gained, and time gone forever. It shows the journey from this little lad, happy as can be, to somebody who can often strike quite a lonely and solitary character, wandering around in the dark winter evenings, contemplating life, and thinking often about all the people lucky enough to have barely marked any dots on the page with so much ahead, and all those who have managed to almost reach the bottom of the page and can look back and surely think about how lucky they have been. As I find myself approaching the centre of the page, I have to wonder if that is influencing my life choices. As I post more videos of me up to youthful fun and games, when the reality is that I may just be trying to convince myself I'm still young, as I can't even walk up a hill without wearing knee braces anymore. There are people who laugh at me or simply don't understand the appeal of spending so much time on my own and so much time down by the river, overshadowed by the wonderful aqueduct, an icon of not just the landscape but of the entire canal network of the UK. But what they don't get is that I'm not just here now all of a sudden, I've been here forever. I have these amazing clips and photos I can look back on, crossing the aqueduct on my tiny little floating home in years gone by, being able to relive those moments with loved ones, and know that at least some of the red dots on that page have been well spent. Of course, some of them have been squandered, but when I see clips like this... This is Christmas Day! Woo! ...that show the truly youthful version of myself from over 15 years ago, still doing the same activities that I try to do as much as I can today. Hey ho folks, it's Sandbag from a big hill, and that's what I'm talking about. It makes my heart absolutely sing with joy to know that even as a young, foolish, utterly directionless man, I had stumbled by pure luck into something that I would absolutely love spending my life doing. This version of myself I have mixed feelings on. I am overjoyed that he bought a boat and gave me an incredible decade of life on the canals. However, he was also addicted to sugary drinks and ultimately led to me being stuck in a dentist in my mid-thirties, sat in the chair for hours, having multiple tooth extractions and fillings. Let's just say that I didn't look back on that younger version of myself with quite such a fond, wistful memory. Something happened while I was filming this clip. It was a windy day and the page blew against the nib of the pen, leaving a little mark in one of the unfilled boxes. At first I cursed and thought I was going to have to redo the sheet for the video, and then I realised it was a perfect illustration of life that, as we are filling in the current box, we are also setting ourselves up, either positively or negatively, for what's going to fill the boxes left unchecked. We never know when the red pen will slip from our fingers, so it is vital that we make the most of every single dot we draw, as we make our way however far down the page we get.